So today we're going to be talking about a question that I hear a lot um, when actors start working with us. It's that if you're feeling that your attention as an actor is more on your performance than on actually being your character, right? So um, um, that happens a lot. And you may be feeling if your attention is on your performance and maybe you haven't noticed this yet. So what I'm going to say might be a kind of revealing for you because you might notice, oh yeah, wait, I'm, I am putting my attention on my performance rather than on my character, right? So if you're putting your attention on your performance, you may feel that you're really concerned about booking, like you're going to an audition or you're getting ready for a tape and all your thoughts are going on hoping that it's going to be okay. Uh, you may be hoping that you're going to do the scene like you planned to do it. That's another one. Like you're, you have an idea of how you're going to do it. And so as you're preparing or as you're going to the audition, you might notice and catch your thoughts going to, well, I hope it turns out like I want it to turn out. Like you're, you're getting ahead of yourself. Right, so you might be thinking a lot about the, the results. You might be thinking a lot about how it will be. You might be noticing that all your thoughts are, are on, I hope they like me. I hope they pick me, right? I hope I touch on this emotion. I hope um, that the person who will read with me will read the way I want them to read. I hope I'll remember my lines. There's a bunch of I hopes there. And that means that all your energy is concentrated on doing it right. Because you think there's a certain way that you should be doing the scene. You think that there's a certain way that the character must be. So if you think that the character is only one specific way and you have to hit that note. So you've made a plan on how this specific type of character should look like, should sound like, should behave like. And you want to hit that note. You want to get to that place. That's a sign that your attention is on the performance. And so you might feel when all of your attention and all of your energy is focused on the performance, you may not actually get a lot of pleasure out of acting, right? It might actually be a bit painful or frustrating because, because you're not in the moment, right? Because you're, you're in the moment after, you're in the future, you're trying to get it right and if you're not in the moment, there's a little chance that you'll enjoy it. There's a little chance that it'll be fun because for something to be pleasurable and fun, you actually have to be present in your body, right? You can't feel pleasure and fun if you're not there. I know that might seem like it's obvious, but I'm going to say it again. Pleasure and fun comes from you actually being here in this moment. If not, there is no pleasure and fun right? You have to be in your body in this moment, feeling everything you feel. You have to be there inside, present to enjoy it. If you're not, if you're trying to get it right, if you're trying to please the casting director, if you're trying to get booked, if you're trying to get liked, if you're hoping that you'll hit what you think the scene should be or the only way you think the scene should be, you're not here in the present moment. You're in the future. If you're in the future, you cannot feel fun or presence, a uh, fun or um, pleasure because you're not here. And the only condition to which you need to answer in order to feel the fun and the pleasure is to actually be here. So that you're hoping that you'll feel pleasure if they like you. You're hoping that you'll feel the fun if you did it right. There is no right, but you're hoping that you're, you're delaying the pleasure and the fun. That never happens. Pleasure happens only now when you're in this moment, right? So it can be frustrating if you're focused on your performance because then there's some kind of energy about you um, that, that is in the worried part of you that is like trying to do it right. It goes back to you being at school. There's a test, an exam. I need, I need, I need to do it right. I need to... I need to do what they want me to do. And none of that is artistic, obviously. That's not why you became an actor or an actress. You didn't become an actor or an actress or an artist in order to satisfy the people who are on the other side. That's not what art is about. And it can't be great. You can't produce a masterpiece. You can't be in your zone of genius if you're trying to satisfy 
people on the other side, if you're trying to fulfill the others, if you're trying to please others, if you're trying to be right, if you're trying to be good, if you're trying to be loved, that doesn't happen. There's no art there. That's only people pleasing, which is how you were conditioned, right? So in order for you to feel fulfilled, to have the fun, to have the enjoyment of acting, which is why you signed up for being an actor or an actress in the first time, you actually have to be in your body. And therefore, because your job in that moment is giving your life, your body, your energy to a character, to their life, to their circumstances, to what they want, then you can be there for them. Your job is not to book. Your job is to be your character and to get what they want. When you're trying to book, you're trying to get what you want. That's your ego. When you're there for your character, you're there for what they want in the scene. And your energy is focused on trying to get what they want in this moment because you're giving up your ego, your body, your energy for them. You're making them more important than you. If you're making your needs, your wants, you're booking, you're wanting to be loved, you're wanting to be liked, you're wanting to be validated and, and right in the scene, more important than the character's needs, meaning you're putting most of your energy on your performance and not on the character, you're not doing your job. It can't be fulfilling for you. It can't be present for the character. It can't be impactful. It can't be fun for anyone. You need to reverse that, right? Your energy your focus, your instrument needs to be at the service of your character's needs, not at the service of your ego. Does that make sense? You don't make art from ego. You make art from truth, from your presence, whatever that presence is, right? So again, you, might, you may not have noticed that until now, you've put all of your attention on how well you perform rather than on Here's me, the character in this moment. Here are my circumstances. How do I get that thing that I want that's written in the script? And, and how, how am I going to discover myself in this journey? That's where your attention should be. If it's on your performance, you're not doing the job. You're doing a salesman job. You're trying to sell someone a carpet when they want a chair. You're, you're trying to sell yourself in that moment. And there's none of your energy can be taken into the, the, the sales of you. It can't because then there's no art, right? And there's no fulfillment for you and there's no impact. Everybody loses. If you're concerned about your presence, about your performance, sorry, everybody loses. You're not having fun. You're feeling the struggle of acting. The character is not being lived in that moment, is not really truly receiving the life it needs to live this moment. There's no impact on your audience on the casting, on the story, on nothing, right? So I hope this makes sense for you guys. There's a training, um, I've put it on Facebook in the, in the comments, a free training that you can get from us um, to start you in this, um, in this path. And if you're on Instagram, in the link in the bio, you have this free training too. It's called How to Stop um, Being an, a Good Actor So You Have a Chance at Being Great right? Check this out if this resonates. If you're catching yourself putting more of your attention into your performance rather than into your character, you want to start paying attention to that and start working on that. And I want to say, don't judge yourself for doing that. It's logical. You've been trained in traditional acting school. You've been even educated at school where your safety, your validation, and how well you were doing was all dependent on making sure that others liked you. You were trained to follow, to obey, to be good, to be right, to be liked, to please. That's what you were educated as, right? That's our programming. We're trained to feel a certain way. We're educated to not have certain types of emotions unless we hide them. We're educated to think a certain way at school. We're educated to behave a certain way in our culture. Like everything in us is programmed. And that's the, this programming is not the place from which you make art. 
whether it's acting or any other art, but especially as an actor, because you're your own instrument, right? So you want to make sure that you move through that conditioning back into your true self so that that truth, that presence, when you're really in your body, can serve the character and not your ego. So you've been just trained to have a great ego and a strong identity, and it's not helpful for art or for you because it's not fulfilling. So if this makes sense, um, and you completely relate and you want to do this type of work, get in touch with us, get in the DMs uh, with us or get into our waiting list and we'll let you know when we open enrollment. If um, if you want to get started with our free training, how to stop being a good actor so you have a chance at being great, take that and that will take you a step further. But yes, if this feels like a hot and burning issue for you and that you're catching yourself putting more importance in your ego and your performance than in your actual character, which is your responsibility as the actor, then get in touch, get in touch with us so we can, we can support you into showing up for yourself, showing up for the character, showing up for the story, showing up for the audience in a much more truthful and free way. And we can help you do that pretty fast. All right. Enjoy. Bye.